everybody we are on to our next lesson here in this financial algebra unit right so make sure you have your paper make sure you have your notebook make sure you have your pencil ready to take really good notes all right so let us start with highlighting our lesson name right so the lesson name is how much are we paying in taxes, right? How much are we paying in taxes? So today's lesson, we're going to focus on state income tax. So what happens is that when you have a job, you pay taxes to the state, right? You also pay federal taxes, which means that you pay to the federal government, right? For federal means the entire country and you also pay FICA. FICA, we will cover federal income tax and we will cover FICA in a later video lesson, okay? Second, uh, not second, another thing, right? Another word, other vocabulary words that we need to know are gross and net. Gross and net. Gross means pay before taxes, right? That's how much the company, your employer, your bosses that you work for, this that's how much they pay you before taxes. So it's either a salary where you get a set amount of money every month, every other month, I mean, every month, every two weeks, twice a month, um, or every, weekly, right? Or once a month. Did I say, I think I already said that, but that's salary, right? Um, wage is when you get paid hourly. So gross means how much you made before they take away taxes. Net, naturally, right? If gross means before taxes, then net means pay after taxes, right? Pay means pay after taxes. So gross is pay before taxes, net is pay after taxes, right? But we will not cover that today. I just wanted to let you guys know uh, what those words meant, okay? So first thing we're gonna look at is we're going to look at the state income tax bracket, right? It's pretty much a list, right? So taxable income, taxable income means how much money you made with the company that you're working for and how much it can be taxed. So there are eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven brackets, right, on this chart here. And depending on how much money you make, then that's how much they tax you. Now, what's tricky with this, and it can be tricky in the beginning, is a certain amount of money, it's taxed a certain amount of rate, right? So what happens is that if you make from zero to a thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars, right? They taxed you one percent. You get taxed one percent. After ten thousand dollars, from ten thousand to twenty thousand, you get taxed two percent. From twenty thousand to thirty thousand, you get taxed four percent. From thirty thousand to forty thousand, you get taxed six percent. From forty to fifty thousand, you get taxed eight percent. From fifty to sixty, you get taxed nine point five percent or nine and a half percent, right? On bracket G is where you get a big jump from 60,000 to 300,000 you get paid you get taxed 10.5 percent from 300,000 to 400,000 you get paid 11.5 you get taxed 11.5 percent from 400,000 to 500,000 you get taxed 12.5 percent from 500,000 to a million dollars, you get taxed 13.5%. And anything above 100 million, you get taxed 14%, right? So 
let me show you how this works okay so we're going to have to make a list you're going to have to be organized to make sure that you are getting this correctly and we are uh, keeping things in order all right so let us pick dark purple here uh, uh, dark purple okay dark uh, that dark purple all right so on this question here it says how much state income tax does someone that makes 76 dollars $76, a year pay how much do they pay so the way this works is that you have to break up the amount of money that this person is making here by brackets, right? So this 76,722 would go right here, right? Between 60 and 300,000. That doesn't mean that the entire amount is taxed 10.5%. You have to take into account all the other brackets as well. Okay, so slowly but surely, I will show you how to do that. So, you we know that 76,000 is here in the G bracket. So, no, I know that I'm going to go down all the way to G. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, watch what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to draw myself a chart. And I'm going to draw a long line just like that. And I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, I got the seven from these right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because 76,722 goes between 60,000 and 300,000. Okay. So, watch what I'm going to do. Watch what I'm going to do. So, this is my A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Now, if you notice here, the range of A is 100,000. That means from zero to, I'm sorry, 10,000. That means from zero to 10,000 is 10,000. That's how much is taxed 1%. So we're going to say, remember, we need a total of 76722, two, right? So we're going to say 1% of, remember, A has a range of 10,000. So 10,000. So the first $10,000 are going to be taxed at 10%. Right? So now let's see B here. B is also 10,000 here, right? And that's taxed at 2%. So let us go back here, and we're gonna say 2% of another 10,000, right? The next 10,000 is gonna be charged, it's gonna be taxed at 2%. So, so far we have 10 and 10 is 20,000. And we wanna get to 76,000, 722. Okay, so next is C. So I'm gonna go back here to my C and I'm gonna see it's also a range of 10,000 from 20,000 to 30,000 is 10,000 and that's taxed at 4%. So 4% of another 10,000, right? Oops. So, okay, so here we are so far. So we have C. Now D, D here is also 10,000, look at that. 
and that's at 6%. So 6% of another $10,000, right? So we have 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, okay? We're almost to 70, let's keep going. So let's see E. E also has a range of 10,000 at 8%. So we're going to say 8% of 10,000 as well. Okay, look at that. Look at that. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, not quite there yet. We're going to need to get to 76. Okay, so now F. Let's see F. F is also a range of 10,000 is 9.5%. So we're going to say 9.5% of also 10,000, it said, right? Okay. So let's see. We are at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Hmm. Okay. $60,000. Okay, so let's check with G now. So let's see. G is between 60 and 300,000. That's $240,000. Well, for sure, I don't have 240,000 left. Well, let's see how much I have left. So I'm going to subtract all of these from 76,722. So 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000. So I'm going to use my calculator and I'm going to say 76722 seven, seven, minus 60,000. 76722 seven, minus 60,000. 1, 2, 3. I get 16,722. So that is what's left over that needs to go here on G. And G is taxed at 10.5%. So I'm going to say 10.5% of, what was it again? 16,722. 16,722. And look at that. So now, let's see what we're going to do. Now, this is a big list. So look what I'm going to do. I am going to take this list, and I'm going to put it in my calculator here. So let's see. A says 1% of 10,000. So I'm going to say here, 1% of 10,000. One, two, three. Enter. Okay, that's the first one. B says 2% of 10,000. 2% 10, of 10,000. One, two, three. All right. Next, C says 4% of 10,000. 4% of 10,000. 10, one, two, three. All right. C, wait, I got what? A, B, C, D is next. D is 6% of 10,000. 6% of 10,000. Okay. E says 8% of 10,000. So let me hit enter. 8%, 8 percent, eight percent of ten thousand. One, two, three. Enter. Okay. So I'm on F nine point five percent this time of ten thousand. Nine point five percent of ten thousand. Ten. One, two, three. All right. And then finally, I'm going to hit return or enter again. I go down to my last one. 10.5% of 
16, 7, 22. 10.5 percent of 16, 7, 22. And I hit enter again. And look at that. I have all my numbers there. So let's see. First, I got 100, right? So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to not do that. I'm going to write all my taxes here. So the first one was 100, was A, B was 200, right? C was 400, D was 600, D, it was, uh, C, D, E was 800, okay, F was 950, so let me go back and say 950, and the last one was 1755.81. So one seven five five. Wait, what? Nope. One seven five five one thousand five seven hundred fifty five dollars and eighty one cents. Right. So the next thing, guys, that I'm going to do in the last step is I'm going to add all of these numbers right here. So let me go back and let me clear all. And I'm going to say 100 plus 200 plus 400. Okay. 100 plus, move this out of the way. 100 plus 200 plus 400 plus, let me go back here, 600 plus 800. Okay. 600 plus 800 plus 950, right? 950 plus $1,755.81. As I mentioned, 10.5% uh, of 16722 was one seven five five eight one one thousand seven hundred and fifty five point eighty one so I gotta add that here one seven five five right one seven five five yes one seven five five point eight one point eight one for a total of four thousand eight hundred and five point eight one so as I go back here, I say for a total of, let me go back, 4805.81, 4805.81. So the question says, how much state income tax does someone that makes $76,722 a year pay? So. Um, so the, how do I, I'm trying to think of how I would say it. Um, so, okay, let's do a complete sentence. Let's be thorough here. Someone that makes, let me make sure that I have the right number. 76, 722, 76,000. Seven hundred and twenty-two dollars. Any sense? Yes. Would pay state income tax amount of four thousand eight hundred and five dollars and 81 cents 
there you go that would be a complete statement right there right and there you go so somebody that makes for seventy six thousand seven hundred and twenty two dollars a year would pay four thousand eight hundred and five dollars and eighty one cents of state income tax so pretty much that's what you do everyone right so just find your however much the assignment is going to ask the, the problem asks for right find how much which bracket right which bracket you fall under and then write all which row and then write all so if it's falls under that row then you write all the rows above it as well all right so that kiddos is are the notes for this lesson so make sure that you rewind for clarification or pause in order to be able to write everything down all right thank you